Hey guys, Adam Frimmer here from DIYPhotography.net. We're here with Lauren from Tether Tools here at PPE 2019. They're going to show off how you can get your pictures across the ether. DIY Photography's coverage of Photo Plus 2019 is sponsored by Luminar, an AI-powered photo editor. Photo Plus, immerse yourself in the world of photo and video. Cozy Speed, the fastest camera bags in the world. And Spiffy Gear, lighting for storytellers. So, Lauren, Air Direct, we can finally do wireless tethering. Yes. So, what Air, this is Air Direct, and what Air Direct does is it allows you to wirelessly transmit your images from any uh, digital camera, medium format, DSLR, or mirrorless directly into your tethering software of choice. Cool. So, as long as you have a tethering output, you can use it? Exactly. So tethering happens through the USB port. So any camera that already has tethering support through Capture One, Lightroom, Smart Shooter, EOS Utility, any of the tethering softwares out there, you'll be able to take your images directly from your camera. You send a wireless uh, RAW and JPEG image, and it'll go directly into your software program of choice. Oh, that's awesome. So wait, how, I mean, that's a lot of data to move, a sure. RAW file. So how long for how much? Sure, so essentially the device will transmit your JPEG image first, which will come across pretty much instantly, one, one and a half seconds, and then the raw file will come beyond that. That will come probably five to seven seconds, depending on your file size. Okay, and why would somebody need a wireless? I mean, I've seen cables that are super long. Why would we sure, want to go wireless? Sure. So cables are, and still will be, always the fastest way to transmit your image directly from camera to computer. The benefit of wireless is that you get to actually be a little bit untethered, um, where you're able to move a little bit more freely. So say you're in an environment where you're shooting pets, children, um, you're outdoors shooting you know, in an outdoor environment where there's a lot of moving parts. This will allow you a little bit more freedom to get that image exactly into the software you want it to be in without having the, the tethered nature of the cable. Okay, and does it work on 2.4 or 5 gigahertz? It actually works on both. So as you see on this side here, there's a couple of different uh, buttons. We've got the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, and that's going to give you different frequency to be able to move that image um, easily. You can choose either way. The other um, uh, selection here on the side is mobile or ADU. So mobile actually lets you go directly to an iPad, tablet, uh, Android tablet, and it lets you go into our proprietary software. So that's one option for people wanting to go to mobile devices. There's actually a switch here called ADU, and that's our Air Direct utility. That's what makes the wireless PTP connection directly into your computer, so you can move into software. So it doubles not only for computer, but you can also double up and use it, it for does. the iPad. You can use it for the iPad as well, exactly. And what kind of distance can we expect from the five gigahertz? Sure, from the five gigahertz, you're gonna get about 200 um, feet distance. Oh. So you can okay. be pretty far away range, um, and then, you know, it'll transmit the image within 200 feet. And does it still work even in a saturated environment? Yeah, so essentially this is creating its own ad hoc connection. So it's not using any wireless area network. You can be in the middle of nowhere and connect your camera directly to your computer through the okay. computer's Wi-Fi connection. So I see it's being powered by a Canon battery and LPE6, right? Yes, absolutely. It's powered by an LPE6 battery, which is really nice because it doesn't take any of your camera's battery. It's independently powered by the, the LPE6. Um, it also has a DC port. So if you were on a run USB DTAP power to it, you can run that straight through the DC port. It also has the nice convenient function of being able to hot swap the battery. So you just plug into the DC port and then you can swap your battery out on the oh, fly. Awesome. Last question. I see... It's on the hot shoe, does it have to be? No, it doesn't use the hot shoe at all. It's actually connected through the USB port. It's just mounted here on the cold shoe. We do have an ARCA bracket that would allow you to mount it to an L bracket as well. So it can mount conveniently on the side of the device, not on the top. So personally, I have a few cameras that have Wi-Fi already built inside. What's the main difference between my Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi? Sure, there's a few main differences. Um, when your Wi-Fi is built into your camera, it's inside a metal camera body, and you usually have a pretty small transmitter. When you've got an external device such as the Air Direct, we actually have four um, wireless transmitters in here. It's using 802.11ac wireless protocol, which is the fastest and highest range you can get currently. Um, the ability to be outside the wireless or the metal camera body gives you much longer wireless range. Uh, the other really great benefit it is the battery life um, on this is independent from your camera. If you have wireless built into your camera, it's using your camera battery and draining your battery really quickly. Yeah. That's a frustration among many people trying to go wireless. The other benefit is there is no camera that has wireless built in to go directly to your computer and into your software. So okay. typically if you're using a built-in um, wireless device on any uh, DSLR or mirrorless camera, it's going directly to an app that the camera manufacturers have made. Um, those are a little bit limiting in what you can do with the image once you get there. With this, you have all the flexibility of your current workflow and your current software, and you can get that image directly into what software you want. All right, I'd love to see a demo of it. Can we get something okay. on the screen? Sure, so first what we'll want to do is connect the camera. 
So you can see here we're connected on our own Wi-Fi network through the AirDirect network. And then we'll go here and load up the AirDirect utility. The AirDirect utility runs in the background to make the wireless PTP connection. So once the AirDirect utility is connected... Look, a firmware update. <laughs> we're working on it all the time. We're constantly updating as we're launching. Um, so now we're connected to the AirDirect utility. This will run in the background to make that wireless PTP connection. And then I'm going to open up Capture One here. So you can see this is Capture One's interface. And as I take a photo, may I take your photo? Yeah, sure. So the image will come up, and what's going to happen is the JPEG image is going to come up immediately, the RAW will come up immediately behind it. So you can see how quick that is. You can actually tap, zoom in, check your image, see everything that you've got here. You can see all the images that we've shot today. And then there's you. So really fast, as you can see, the image goes in, and now you've got all the benefits that you have built into your tethering software, so Capture One. So if you're going to do overlays, if you're going to do any editing, if you're going to do presets, color correction, you can see the image much larger, and you can start your workflow immediately upon capture. Okay, that's awesome, but normally when I tether, I also have the ability to change settings of the camera from Capture One. Do we still have that ability here? Yes, you absolutely have that ability. It is a two-way communication. So if we wanted to go in here and change settings, we could go into camera settings. We can change our shutter speed here. It will change on the camera. We take another image. And now we've got that new image coming in. Yeah, so you can control everything that you control in Capture One. You can still control, um, and it will continue to update the camera. It will change your images. We'll pretty much do so everything, it's basically everything you do with Capture One. The best thing after a cable in terms of wireless systems this is it. Absolutely. This is what uh, what we've been working on for quite a while. We're really excited to bring it to market. It does give you that flexibility of tethered workflow, only wireless. Awesome. And what about price and availability? Sure, sure. So um, it is in pre, uh, pre-launch right now. It will be coming out later this year, and the price point is going to be $329 US. Thank you so much for showing us. It's so cool to see wireless tethering finally come to the market. Thank you. We're very excited to bring it to photographers everywhere. We hope it's going to be a great tool for the industry. Um, and you can right now go on to tethertools.com slash air dash direct, and you'll be able to sign up to be the first to know when it's released. Cool. All right. Thank you so much, Lauren. Thank you. That was Lauren here at Tether Tools here at PPE 2019. We're going to keep touring the booths for some more content. Make sure you stick around for that. Also, don't forget, we have a giveaway that's going on. You're going to read more about that in the description below.